In this assignment, you're going to learn some more advanced features of Google Sheets. First thing we're going to do is change the row height. So please click on the rows 1 through 7. After you've done that, you can right click on any of those. And we're going to go down to resize rows 1 through 7. Click on that. And it should default to 21. We're going to type in 75. So 75. And then you can click on OK or hit Enter. And you'll notice now the rows are much wider. The next thing we're going to do is insert an image into cell A1. So click on that. Go up to Insert. And you're going to go down to Image. We're going, we are going to Search. And we're going to search for an eagle. So type an eagle. And then click on your search. And you can pick any of these eagles to put in there. So I'm going to click on this bald eagle, click select, and it's going to take a second, but it will paste the eagle. Now you notice that the image of the eagle is way larger than the cell, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to resize it by clicking on the corner and making it smaller so that it fits inside cell A1. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a link to Math Playground. So click on cell A2, and then you're going to go up on your toolbar, and if you don't see this, you might need to click on the more if you're on a half screen. Click on insert link, and the link that we want, well, actually we'll type the text first. So the text is going to be math playground. Uh, please leave a space between math and playground. And then the link, we're going to type in mathplayground.com. That's no spaces between there. So mathplayground.com. And then you're going to click Apply. And you'll notice there is a link to Math Playground. If you were to click on that link, it would bring you to Math Playground. So you can click and check to make sure that it actually brings you to Math Playground. Next, in box B1, we're going to type Eagles. And then click off the box and back on it because we're going to make a copy of that. Once you click off and back on, you'll see the blue square in the bottom right corner. Put your cursor over top of it. Click. And we're going to drag that all the way down to row 7. And then let go. And it copies that text all the way down to row 7. Next, um, while it's still highlighted, we're going to change the text rotation. So click on text rotation. And we're going to make it go vertical or rotate up. And when you do that, all of the eagles will now be facing up. Um, next, we want to make our text bold, so click on bold, and then we're going to change the color. So if you go to text color, you can pick any color that you would like. I'm going to go with blue, and then we're also going to do a fill color for the background. So click on fill color, and you can pick any color that you want. I guess I'm going to go with a light green for this. In box C1, you're going to type the word strike through. And then we're going to strike through that text. So you can click off it and back on it. There's a couple ways you can strike through. You can go up to your toolbar and you strike through. You could also go to format and strike through. Or you'll notice here it says alt plus shift plus five. We'll also strike through. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press alt, shift, and the number five. And you'll notice it strikes through. On box, or in cell C2, we're going to type in italic. Italic, and again, you can go up to your toolbar or to format, or you can press Control plus L. So Control L, and it's going to put it into italics. Inbox or cell C3, you're going to type in bold, and then click on bold to make it bold. Again, you have to click off the box and then back on it to make it happen. Underneath that, you're going to type in underline. Now, underline is not up here, so you need to go to format and then click on underline. Or you could also, the shortcut is control U. So if you were to hold down control and then the letter U, it would underline it automatically for you. In cell D1, you're going to insert a checkbox. So go down, go up to insert, click on checkbox, and then we're going to copy that. All the way down to again row seven. And that just makes a box there. 
please add a fill color for the background. So I will go ahead and do a, a green. And then I would like you to check the boxes, all seven of your boxes. And this puts a check mark in them. In cell E1, you're going to type January. And then click off of it and back on it so that you can have the, the copy feature. You're going to click and drag this down all the way to row 7. And you'll notice it automatically puts the months of the year in there. So January, February, March, April, May, June, and July all in order. We're going to center this text. So go up to your toolbar and click on your horizontal align. And we're going to center it. We're also going to vertically align it and put it in the middle. So you'll notice it's in the exact middle of our cell. Please change the color of this font. You can change it to any color that you want. I'm going to go to uh, red and let's make it a little bit larger. So maybe size 12 and bold. Next, we are going to <clears throat> type out some food and how much they cost. So hot dog, hamburger, fries, and then we're going to have a total. In cell G1, you're going to type 3.5. And then in G2, you can type 5, then 3, then 1. And we're not going to type anything in total yet. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on cell G5, and we're going to create a formula. So we're going to click on functions sum and then it asks what values what cells you want to add up i'm going to click on g1 and drag all the way from 3.5 down to 1 and then hit enter and it adds those all up it should take 4.5 but i want to put this in currency the easiest way to do it is click up here on g and you'll notice it highlights all the cells in a row and then i'm going to click on um, up here on your toolbar you see, see the dollar sign it says format as currency click on that and it changes it all to currency now with this currency, if you highlight this, these numbers again, we are going to rotate the text and we're going to tilt it up. So it looks like that now. And we're also going to add a background color. So I'm going to do a light blue. And then I also want to highlight this column and give it a color. And I'm going to do just a little bit different color. So it'll just be a little bit lighter. And then click and drag over both these columns and we're going to add a border. So click on borders and you want to do the full border. And it changes it so it looks like this. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to add another column between C and D. So to do that, I'm going to right click on column D and then I'm going to go to insert one left. And that made a copy of what I had. I don't I don't want a copy. I just want a blank cell. So what I'm going to do is click and drag over these boxes and click on delete to get rid of them. And then I don't want it green either. I want it to be white in color. So if you accidentally made a row green or a column green before, this is how you get it back to white. If you go on your colors and just click back to white, and you notice I now have a blank row for column D. If you have all of this and it looks like mine, you can go ahead and click on turn in.